So today we are going to be talking about swollen stomach in catfish farm. So what do you think that causes swollen stomach in catfish farm? Welcome back. So like I said at the beginning, we have many types of swollen stomach. There is um, a swollen stomach that you notice before you feed your catfishes. That is what we are talking about. So anytime before you feed your catfishes, let me give you an example. Probably you fed your fishes at night. Let's say you fed the fishes around 4 p.m. and or 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. evening feeding. Then tomorrow morning when you now want to feed your fishes, you now all of a sudden you notice that one or two or three of your fishes are is having swollen stomach well that is the one we're talking about so now like i said please try and listen very attentively to this ask me any question you don't understand at the end of this so that i can actually explain it and you will understand better so what is the root cause of this swollen stomach another name for this um, swollen stomach is gill rot Either you call it swollen stomach or you call it gill rot. Why it's called the gill rot is that the gill is inside. That is what is getting rotten and is giving birth to the swollen stomach. Get it? So now, to, before we confuse ourselves even more, so let's dive into this. So what actually causes the swollen stomach in catfish? I will prefer to stick to the name swollen stomach than gill rot so that, you know, you understand exactly what we are talking about. So... What actually causes swollen stomach in catfish farm? Now, swollen stomach in catfish farm is as a result of infection. And this infection most of the times is caused by bacteria. So what happens is that when your pond is overstocked, you know, like I always say, you have ammonia, high ammonia concentration in the pond when it's overstocked because all the catfishes will be releasing their waste in the same water they are taking. So when this thing, as they're taking it, now it blocks the respiratory system of the catfish, meaning that the catfish cannot functionally have breathe in and breathe out because of the high ammonia concentration that it has inhaled. Now, this would affect part of its breathing system, the gill bladder. So when this is affected, it makes it, like it cuts off the breathing passage in the catfish and that's why you now see that when it cuts off you know something that is supposed to be going up and down and all of a sudden it now goes up to come down it's a problem so you now have a very narrow channel of breathing this is as a result of the bacteria infection in the gills now when this happens the catfish starts struggling to breathe Sometimes you look at the catfish, it's like they open their mouth, struggling to breathe. Remember, the opening of the mouth is not always like this. Sometimes when you see catfishes opening mouths to breathe, they are struggling to breathe. It's as a result of the low oxygen concentration in the pond. That one is also different from what we are saying. But whenever you see your catfishes opening mouth, it's suggesting distress. Now, this can actually lead to this gill infection because as at the time you see them trying to like gasp for air, opening their mouths, they're already having problem of uh, breathing. If the gill bladder is already infected, you now see the swollen part of the fish, just like the pictures, the video you just saw now. So it starts to swell up because it's no longer breathing in and out the way it's supposed to be this infection can actually kill the fish the fishes sometimes when you see them they try to look for where water is rushing into the pond to go and stay there all this is they are trying to do is they are trying to see a way to allow the breathing to happen just like when someone is suffocating you are trying to be able to get you are choking you are trying to breathe but in this system, it's already a bad situation because the gill is already rotten as a result of the infected this thing they've taken down the system. 